I recently had the chance to visit a great little antique store. The owner was super, super nice. And she also shared a love of vintage kitchen items, vintage cookbooks. And she even pointed out like where in the shop she had put all of those items. Her shop was just beautifully put together. I'll pop in a few photos. While I was there, I did buy a few cookbooks, but then I came across this cookbook bundle for $10. And I was like, should I buy it? Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. And ultimately I did obviously decide to buy it and I was ready to tear into this thing, let me tell you. And then I came up with an idea. Why don't I open this and unbundle this for you? I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm basically gonna have my camera here where I'm unbundling and then you can also see my reaction. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> it's been days and I have wanted to tear into this thing. So I had to hurry up and, and film this video. It appears to be mostly product booklets, which if you know, if you've been following me, you know that's like my favorite kind of cookbook to collect. And obviously I can see a couple of these, you know, some of the ones on the top. Uh, I don't I have no idea what the rest of them are. All right, here we go. It's the moment. I can only do this once, so hopefully this all turns out well. Let's see what we got. First off, we have something called Sprinkle Sweet recipe book and it looks like this was a sugar substitute that came to us from Pillsbury. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is, that is some colorful interiors. I'm into it. It kind of looks like it might be a precursor to equal. It's that same color, but I do really love the colorful interior on this one. Then we also have something called China Village. This is a little bit newer. See the year 1995 on it. It looks like it's a lot of like stir fry recipes. This looks like maybe it went with an appliance. Oh, it's sort of like a little appliance catalog almost from Oster. I do like those. I, I, it's not something I like seek out, but I do have a few of the booklets like this. It's looking like we're getting a little bit older. It says Jean Shaw's pastry cloth recipes. So it was for a pastry cloth, pastry cloth. <laughs> it looks like it was sold by Sears and Roebuck. So. Sears, your days are numbered, I am so sorry. But yeah, this one, it does look like it's a little bit older, but it's basically like how to use the pastry cloth and like some recipes to go with it. Now we're talking. I immediately recognize this as like one of the Pillsbury. There's probably Bake Off recipes in here, but look at all those cute cookies. I love it so much. Okay, do it together butter cookies. I keep doing this. I know I could probably just like flip my footage, but I'm doing it upside down. I should have <laughs> I should have started it that way, I guess, like the other way, I guess. Is this a cake? It's like a tiger cake? What are you? Everybody, look. So up my alley. So many cookies. Snack time for youngsters. I don't know how much time I should be spending on each one of these, but this one I could spend a lot of time on it. Centerpieces for open house. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's it's all, every product in the line, every product. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Okay, we're gonna spend some time with that one for sure. Oh, and another one from Pillsbury. Jewel box butter cookies. It's like another flower advertisement on the back. So it almost goes hand in hand with this one. Almost like the same, same format and stuff. It kind of makes me wonder if they were together, I don't know. These all look like cookies that you can kind of like put in a beautiful box and give as gifts. Sparkling jewel box cookies. <laughs> wow, for Christmas. I am gathering all of my holiday books up right now. I know it's, you know, June, July. I don't know when I'll put this video out, but planning ahead. Oh, look at that refrigerator cookies. So these would be the kind that you make in a roll and then you refrigerate them and then you slice and bake. And that you get like, that's how you can do that kind of swirly thing. Wow, scotchies, that sounds good. Snack time molasses cookies. We have something from Hershey's. The story of chocolate and cocoa. Look how skinny this is. <laughs> it's like an actual storybook. Did they give this out at like Hershey Park or something? I'm not like really seeing recipes, but I still love it. So I don't know exactly when this came out. I didn't find a year yet, but it's got like all of these 
divisions, I guess, of, of Hershey Foods. Oh, I did find a year, here, it's 1968. Oh, better meals with gel cookery. Are they really better meals? I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to argue that probably. It's a Knox gelatin book, so we know that there are definitely gelatin molds in here. That is a promise. I'll have to do a little bit more digging to see when this was published. Sometimes when I look for the publication dates or I use my little clues to find them, it does take some time. So just completely doing this on the fly, I'm not gonna have that for you necessarily unless it's like explicitly published in the book. So we do have photos, they're mostly like black and white. Oh man, this is all gelatin molds all the time. Are you on a diet? We're not, we're not discussing that right now. So this one I already have, actually. My friend Caitlin gave me this one a couple of years ago. This is the book that has the Spamaroni picnic salad in it. So I did make that for a video and I'll go ahead and link that in the description down below. Uh, it is something, <laughs> it is, it is something, but it is a very cute book and I'll point out some things. I mean, that's, look at that picnic spread. It's gorgeous, but I, yes, here it is. I seem to remember it has a lot of product packaging in it of the time. I think this one's from the 1950s, but I love books with product packaging of that time, like in the book, because then it helps you identify the year sometimes. Also, I just love seeing what the products look like back, back then. This was worth $10. Like, look at all of the things I already have. 200 dishes for Sunday night suppers. That looks like a pretty good meal. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same on the front and back. I feel like I actually do have a couple of books. I think this was part of a series. I think I have like the dairy book, like 200 dairy dishes or something like that. Yeah, so it says edited by the Culinary Arts Institute. I think that was what the series was called. These usually have like a ton of recipes in them and sometimes they'll have a base recipe and then they'll have variations on that base recipe. This is in great condition though. It looks like it was never used. Oh, hey, this is a magazine clipping. Okay, we're gonna be careful. Oh, wow. Look, what is this for? It is house, house cake. <laughs> what? I'm wondering if there was like another page on this side because I don't, house cake doesn't make sense to me. Nestle's semi sweet chocolate. So this is a toll house chocolate cake. I've never made one of those. I made the cookies, of course. I made the Toll House cookies on this channel. I will link that if you haven't watched it yet. I don't see a year on this, but it does say Whole House and Nestle's registered, trademarked, owned by Lamont Corliss and Company. So I'm sure that I could look that up and then find out for sure exactly when this, um, this magazine page was published. And then the other side, oh. <laughs> long cake. So is that like a strawberry? It says for bird's eye strawberries, long cake. It's got this little comic at the top. Oh, okay. I did find on the ad, it does say copyright 1949. It's not just cookbooks. There's like all kinds of, I have so much to go. I have barely scratched the surface here, folks. Oh, this looks like it is going to be incredible. Fancy free entertaining. It's another Pillsbury book. I love these little Pillsbury books. I have a few in my collection that are like this, but they're just some of my favorites. And they usually have like fun illustrations. Oh, the idea flower. I remember, and I think it was maybe the Busy Lady Bake Off toward the 19, like late 1960s, they tried out this like the idea flower slogan. And I feel like it's so weird. This looks like it might be for Christmas, which if it is, maybe I could do some Christmas recipes from here. Mistletoe buffet. Oh heck, this is gonna be so cool. Do we have a year? Whoa, do they still have these? They look like aerosol cans of frosting. Yeah, I'm gonna guess like late 1960s on this just because of that whole idea flower thing. What's this? <laughs> this is, I think this is like early 90s because of that font and it seems, I almost feel like I kind of remember this. It's like a Crisco user guide, 89, 90, 91, somewhere around there. Oh, 
<laughs> take a can of beans. I have done a few bean recipes lately, uh, but this is take a can of beans. Oh, fantastic. This is a Campbell's soup cookbook, which I would not know that <laughs> by looking at it. I love it. I have a few other Campbell's soup cookbooks too. At this point, I keep saying, oh, I did this recipe from this company. I feel like I've done a ton of them. Yeah, I've done some Campbell's soup recipes. I'll link some of them. Maybe you should subscribe. <laughs> but look at all these bean recipes, folks. Snacky bean specials. <laughs> I love this. Tote along bean dishes. Oh, wow. I've not seen this one before. I don't know, what do you think? Like 70s on that one? The front says 70s to me, but the inside says earlier, I'm not sure. We'll see, I'm sure that I'll probably do a video on this one because I love beans. And speaking of beans, again with the beans. <laughs> 50 classic bean dishes. Are you also a Campbell soup cookbook? Yes, yes you are. Carolyn Campbell. I hope that you like this video because this is so much fun. I hope you're actually like getting my enthusiasm <laughs> because I've not done one like this. I kind of want to buy more mystery bundles and do this again because this is like so much fun. 50s, 60s, probably 60s on this one. Maybe early 60s. I don't know. I'll have to do a little research, but we love it. We love it. We have, oh no. Okay, well, I'm really excited for this one. This one's very nice, but like what? <laughs> Secrets of making frozen desserts at home. This is the White Mountain Freezer Company. I don't know anything about this company. If you collect vintage appliances, maybe you do. If you are into kitchen, like vintage kitchen stuff, Cavalcade of Food, that is an excellent channel to watch for like even vintage appliances. He has everything, he collects everything. So we have a lot of lovely frozen desserts in here. What? <laughs> The TV Guide cookbooklet. Wow, 1970. Please tell me these are celebrity recipes. A selection of favorite recipes that have appeared in America's Favorite TV Magazine. I don't know, maybe they're celebrity recipes. Tuna empanadas, guacamole. I mean, I know how to make, oh, I can't, we can't have, I can't eat that anyway. We'll just skip that page. <laughs> For that special dinner. Oh my gosh, this is going to be beef with style. This is, oh, I'm excited. Do you remember TV Guide? I remember it as a kid, like we didn't subscribe or anything, but I knew some households that did and it was just like this little booklet and it was where you would find out like what was on the TV. I don't even have cable now, so like <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. I just go and I use a streaming service. Holiday Harvest. <gasps> Okay, squash spice cake, I probably would love that. I actually love squash that is incorporated into like cakes and pies and stuff. My grandma used to make a really delicious squash pie. Sorry, this is a tangent, but uh, my grandparents grew a lot of their own fruits and vegetables and sometimes like they would grow different squash and they would cross pollinate or something and make like a whole new squash <laughs> that doesn't like exist that you can't just go buy. And sometimes those squashes were amazing. Anyway, okay, okay. I. <laughs> I'm excited if you can't tell. Here we go. Okay, this is a 1993 cookbook, but it's Elsie's Market. This is an Eagle brand milk cookbook. And you know how I love sweet and condensed milk. Oh, 1993, that's like my tween years. You know, I would be like about 12 or so when this came out, but it probably has, there's magic cookie bars. I love magic cookie bars. It probably has a lot of the same recipes that appeared in some of my vintage books because you know, people love old favorites. Dessert discoveries. I like this textured paper. Bounty puddings from Campbell. So it's another Campbell's soup cookbook. But I've never heard of this, this bounty pudding. If you know what this is, like if you know what bounty pudding is, like please leave me a comment. It could have been a product that was available in the United States. Maybe it was available in like Canada or something. I don't know. I don't know the year, but it looks, it looks like it was a type of canned pudding that you could buy. And there's lots of cool desserts in here. So I'd probably have to improvise on some of these if I can't find like this particular product. Introducing the Illustrated Guide. This is a long title <laughs> to easier homemade jams and jellies by Shergel. So if you are picking your own fruit this season, you can make your own jams and jellies. It's like, um, sure gel is like pectin. Yeah. Ooh, someone used this because <laughs> there's definitely something sticking it together. So that was from, 1986, we have another Campbell book and I noticed on the back, 
cooking with soup. I have this booklet. I even believe that I made, yeah, I think I made my tomato soup cake from this uh, book. So emergency cookbook. Campbell's cookbooks often talk about an emergency shelf. So just meaning like a shelf of like their canned soup so that you can throw a meal together very easily and very quickly. So there's the back of it. Oh my gosh. It's a little delicate. Wow. Look at that. I like that these are just like drawings. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to explore. Betty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've been wanting this and <laughs> there are two copies. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have to find like the companion book that I have. I can't find it right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's like a, com I know, I mean, I haven't even talked about this one yet. There's like a companion book or maybe even more than one that goes with this. I can't find it right now, but I'm gonna pop a photo in just so you can see what I'm talking about. It's, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this one. I think I actually already have this one. <laughs> um, it's also very exciting. I love these little like rectangular, Betty Crocker books and this one explores um, food from different different countries and things and I'm sure it has a lot of nice recipes I can't wait to talk about this one right here. <laughs> yes, so I love these books The one that I have is just like it's so groovy and like the style is just all over the place And I'm seeing that this one is the same way <laughs> Look, Like there's so many different fonts. It is so colorful Just like look at it it, it's just, I bought the other one that, that I popped the photo in. I got that when I was like t between 10 and 12 years old at an antique store in Grand Rapids. I remember where I got it. I remember when I found it. It was 10 cents. Yeah, and I knew that this one was like another one that went with it. I just really wanted this, but I wanted to find it in the wild. I do sometimes buy cookbooks on eBay or Etsy or something like that, but most of the time, if there's something I really, really want, I do prefer to find it in the wild. And I can't believe I found this. <laughs> this little tiny book, and there's two. <laughs> oh, you better believe there will be a recipe coming. Mary makes icebox cookies. This looks like it's maybe 20s, 30s, something like that. Yeah, it's 1932. Like I could tell, sometimes you can tell just by like, the style of the illustration, the hairstyles, what they're wearing, of course. This reads kind of like a play or something. So it looks like there's one basic recipe. This one's kind of delicate. Yeah, I don't see any more recipes than just the one, but it is very cute. Delicious meals for less money. For two or four or six by Mary Lee Taylor. This is a pet milk cookbook, so that's like another type of canned milk that exists. I think it still exists. They had like a television show? Ted Mack and then Ralph Edwards and Mary Lee Taylor. I don't know. Look at, look at these beautiful illustrations. What year are you? I'm sure I could find out. If it's a television show, it could be early 50s. That's kind of what I'm feeling from this. Easter ham loaf. I do like that they cut the recipes for you because often if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I, I cut a lot of recipes um, at least in half because there are only two people who live in my household. So I do appreciate that about this book. Oh boy, Proctor Silex, it's ice cream time. I don't know if this is the ice cream maker that I have. Sorry, my neighbor, like my windows are just fully open and I'm doing this and my neighbors play out of their driveway. I have a, an ice cream maker like this. It is not a hand crank, but it is the kind that you have to layer ice and salt with, and it's electric. So I think it's it's very similar to this, this one, if not the same one. Oh no, this one is the crank. Oh, the hand crank. I don't have one of those. Should I look for one of those? But there's a lot of ice cream recipes in here. Country vanilla. Oh, look at these. Just look at those illustrations. Like so good, so colorful. Love these little like twinkles. Yeah, that one's nice. That one's probably 19, I'm gonna say like 50s for that one, maybe. Does it say? No, I am so shocked. This might have been originally, just by the looks of it, originally published. There was probably one that came out then, but I just found a year on it and it's like 1971. <laughs> 
<laughs> they had me fooled. <laughs> this one feels like it's missing. I think this is missing a cover. I think this is just like cookware. It's like came with some cookware and it has a whole lot of um, recipes in it for like whatever, whatever pan or pot or whatever. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Garnishes. <laughs> This looks older. America's favorite recipes. What is this? Capper's Reader Service. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know what year that is, but it looks old. This is a Calumet baking powder book. Uh, actually, I think it's just the cover of one. Yeah, there's nothing there. <laughs> but the cover is kind of cool. That looks like a Campbell kid, don't you think? Right there. Look at that cute dog. I love a cute dog illustration in a vintage cookbook. Well, this is a Bisquick no cholesterol recipe. This is definitely like 80s, 90s. <laughs> yep, 1988. So this is like Bisquick recipes probably with no like fat or oil in them. So this is for your Philco freezer. How to prepare, freeze, and store frozen foods. I have a couple of these like frozen food booklets when you would buy a new appliance. And I guess sometimes they probably even have these now where they come with, I'm just even thinking of the smaller appliance like my KitchenAid stand mixer. It usually comes with a booklet on like how to use it, how to care for it, and then like some recipes. So that's what this is. What is this? Oh my gosh. Forming good food habits and correcting poor ones. I have feelings, uh, but this is from 1943. Small appliances can do it. <laughs> the Illuminating Company a lot of times like you would get little booklets from your local electric company. I have some, especially like at holidays, I think. I have a few of those. Wow, this almost looks like school papers, like mimeographed papers. That's kind of what it reminds me of. And it's got this like, you probably can't see this on the camera. It's got this really like fun kind of textured paper. If my nails were nicer, I would be like in ASMR. <laughs> Bake Off recipes from junior winners. This is a Bake Off cookbook. Oh yes. This is so weird though. It must, I wonder if this was like an insert that like went with something. Cause it's got these holes and it looks like hand typed and strange. I'll have to look into this more. Like there's not a lot of other identifying factors in here, but I do like this cover. Cooking Magic, the holiday cookbook. I love holiday cookbooks so much. They're always so much fun. This is by the Culinary Arts Institute. I think that was the one earlier that was like Sunday suppers or something. Oh, what? Look at this. <laughs> the cover makes me think kind of 70s and then you open it. So it might've been that like this was Something that was published many times over, like in different decades, just because of the way it looks on the inside. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at these. I love these illustrations. It's so many different holidays. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh, this is going to be good because I do, I do like to sometimes theme my videos and it's, it gets a little hard with some of the holidays to do that. Oh, look. Whoa, look at that holiday spread. Fourth of July is coming up. So what do we have? Chicken in a basket. It's fried chicken. I'm not making that. <laughs> I don't like frying things. I don't like deep frying things. Potato salad. Celebration day beans, continuing with the bean theme. Coconut chiffon pie. This sounds like a great menu. If someone wants to make this, I'm coming over. But then we skip right to Thanksgiving. <laughs> so lots of great holiday recipes. Hot point electric range. So recipes for that. The cover's kind of coming off. So I'm gonna be a little careful. But the cover's really pretty. I don't know, it looks like maybe like late 40s, early 50s, something like that. This is like a Sunbeam mixer book. So I definitely have seen some of those at flea markets. I see sometimes like the bowls for them at thrift stores, not, not so often anymore. There was one where it might have been this mixer where the bowl rotates as well as the beaters. And that was like revolutionary. Um, I don't know if that's this, but it has a lot of attachments that you could do like juice extraction or a meat grinder, that kind of thing. But we have some recipes in here too for cakes. Lots of cakes, <laughs> cookies. And there's a nice selection. Ooh, an electric kettle. I love that toaster. I love toast. And these were probably some of the best toasters. An egg cooker, a waffle iron. Oh man, just the whole range of, of Sunbeam appliances and then i think we're getting almost to the end yeah because this is the cutco so the cutco cookbook that's on the bottom it's not in great shape i actually do have a copy of this already but we'll see if maybe i can like glue that back on maybe i can give it to somebody i don't think these things go together 
This, this is like pages from something. Maybe it is, it's not in here because it's got numbers, but like, look, this is definitely old, kind of turn of the century-ish, I think, just judging by what this lady is wearing. Oh, wow, okay. I don't, this goes with that, the Calumet thing. That was just the cover. Oh, okay, yeah, because this looks like the Campbell kit again. That's weird. Is there something to that? Like, is there like controversy there? I would love to know. Love a good controversy. Okay, so I'll have to put those together, but look how beautiful she is. And then finally, this is the last thing in the bundle. Whitmer's, Whitmer's, I don't know. Cooking, vitamins and health. Chemist. There's like a manufacturing department. This looks like it's maybe like early 20th century-ish. Oh yeah, look at what these ladies are wearing. Like the little head covers and stuff. Whitmer baking powder, okay. They've got like spices and extracts. Actually, doesn't this look like the French's flag? I'll have to look into that. Cause like French's, I don't know if they still have it, but it used to be like a red kind of like triangular pennant shaped flag. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun looking through these further. So that was my surprise bundle. Oh, you guys, I got some really good stuff. It was only $10 for all of that. All of that entertainment just for me. <laughs> I will definitely be doing some videos on these books. I'm really happy to add them to my collection. I'm just so excited that it was, I mean, you take a little bit of a gamble. You don't know what's in it for $10. Like, I think I got a pretty good deal. I hope you liked this video. I hope you were entertained by it. Please let me know if you like this format because I had a lot of fun doing it. And if you'd like it, maybe I'll have to do some more kind of like surprise boxes or surprise bundles. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos about food, vintage cookbooks, and retro recipes every week. Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.